Hey, what's up, universe? Ebony here from the TechnologyTalks.com. Today is August 26th, and this is your Thursday edition of the Technology Talks. So let's get started. <laughs> First show you want to talk about is the Apple Special Music Event, which is announced to be held on September the first. Now this is a this is the event where we're going to see the fourth generation iPod Touch, which should have a 960 by 640 Retina display, along with the front facing camera for FaceTime and a possibility of a back facing camera as well. Now this is also the event where we're hoping to see the next Apple TV which you might have known as the iTV which is the rumored new name for it. It will have an iOS and allow you to stream videos, movies, and also apps which is going to be really nice. Now there's also the rumors about the next i new iPod Nano which all the rumors say is that this should be because the iPod Nano gets updated each year. Now I'm not exactly sure what else they can put in the iPod Nano Nano, they already have a video camera. I'm not exactly sure what else. Maybe a small retina display. I don't see that really. But this is because there's also rumored of the next iPod Shuffle, which is going to have a miniature touchscreen. Now that sounds all cool and all, but it's just wondering. I'm just wondering, like, would this look nice? Now the screen size has already been released, but I cannot find it really anywhere. But if I have it, I'll put it on screen. Next story I want to talk about is Netflix. Netflix released their app for the iPhone iPod Touch today, and you can get the lowest Netflix plan, which is $8.99 a month, and you can instantly watch your movies and TV shows streamed from the Netflix service. Now, you won't be able to watch like every single episode or every new show that you like, but there are selective shows and also selective movies. Not all of them will be good, but I definitely recommend you check out the Netflix website before you sign up for a plan, or you can sign up for for their trial and try out the service before you pay for the service. But this app will allow you to stream the movies and shows over for Wi-Fi, 3G, and also Edge. Now this surprised me because AT&T isn't always the company to keep their promises and a lot of people thought that AT&T will just let you stream it on Wi-Fi for a few months until they get the service up to date and you then you can stream it on their AT&T service. But you stream it straight from your phone over 3G, Wi-Fi, or Edge straight when the app comes out. Way to go, at and I still hate you, but you're doing better. N last story I want to talk about is Google Voice, actually. Now, Gmail yesterday, I believe, now released a plugin which allows you to put your Google Voice in your Gmail account. So instead of going through all this stuff or opening up a new tab or using a third-party application, you can go right into your Gmail account and use your Google Voice. Now, Google Voice allows you to do free US and Canada calls but you have to have a phone in order to do that all it does is call your phone and then calls the person you want to call now I'm working on a tutorial for this for those who want to use Google Voice from a computer or from an iPod or iPhone so look for that tutorial coming very soon to the Tech Girl production channel but that's all the stories I want to talk about there's no Thursday tech tip sorry about that I'm pushing for time but that's basically it for this episode of the technology talks I'll see you guys on the Monday edition of the technology talks but other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.